the Never Nancy movement has more legs than a supermodel millipede. And the cause to squash Pelosi's hopes is gaining speed. In a caucus where members are delivered ironclad talking points, they are expected to give in lockstep. At least 17 have already broken rank and have signed a declaration they will not support the Democrat vampiress for another run at her fascist gavel. From Oregon to Colorado, from Texas to Tennessee, and all points in between, this disquieted rare pack of independents are making moves to block Nancy's next coronation. Tim Ryan gave it a go in 2016, and though he sprung up from an anonymous chasm, he's still a folk hero in Never Nancy circles. He says he doesn't want to challenge her again, but his fellow Ohioan and former Congressional Black Caucus chairwoman, Marsha Fudge, is really toying with the joy of another woman taking over House leadership, her. So how did Nancy respond to the idea of Fudge clawing for votes? Uh, what do you make of Marsha Fudge trying to challenge you, or considering challenge? Say it to everybody, come on in, the water's warm. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> huh, this really is cocoon. Is Nancy hoping a quick dip with some alien drippings will help her overcome her phenomenal personality deficits? Her big claim to fame is she gets people to write checks, but unfortunately for her, Marsha Fudge checks a lot more boxes and tends to inspire loyalty and passion, not rage. The biggest boost to Nancy's fleeting hopes lies not with union boys or other house gals, but with Republicans who are trying to extract a series of promises from the once and future foil who will not only help their congressional cause, but who will serve as a voodoo doll for an impulsive president who has a pocket full of pins. Never say never, Nancy. And that's the memo.